www.thepodcast.net. ジャパンキャストのビデオエピソードへようこそ。<笑>ひとみです。ポールです。ポールです。This, <笑> This is <笑> Japan Cast episode 87 and I finally hit puberty. <笑> so, last week it was 105 degrees here, so we didn't record anything. And it's like 90 degrees here now and it just rained. We have dogs going crazy, boom cars all over. People yelling, so it'll be another fun episode. But hey, we got that last week at、uh, my parents' house, so why not record at our house and get the same thing?、Um, we got stuff going on, so it's going to be a little bit of a short episode、uh, this week. Yes. We have over 7,000 fans now on Facebook, so thank you guys. Um, we're also heading towards episode 100. This is at 87. Yes. So we're going to start tweaking things and we're working on stuff. So definitely keep watching and see what we're up to. Hi. And then also, please make sure you check out japancast.net, the main site, because people have been posting some really interesting things.、Um, like、uh, Osaka Ali、mm. just posted a thing called the cross cultural demigod called Biliken. Did you know about this? <laughs> Must be new because、really、I haven't been there. Really, really interesting. It, it, it's, if you read, when you read the story, it's、mm-hmm. like, huh.、Um, and then also, I got an email just recently about the Japancast iPhone app, wondering, you know, you know they said, oh, we really like it, but you only got level one, and I don't、right. want to buy other people. Well, basically, I realized that we, we were tied to iOS. And we had all these people saying, when can you come out with an Android version? When can you come、right. out with. And so I was, had planned on doing level two. I was going to remember I had talked about that company that trained people to use IT computers in, in, in poorer countries so they could learn, and, and it was a great thing and everything. But then I realized if we keep developing for iOS, then I'm going to have to hire like an entire new. Wow, thank you. I was just me doing this. I didn't do this. <laughs> <laughs> just this.、Um, I realized we'd have to hire like all new developers. And so, and then we'd have to maintain all these. So, what we're doing is we're looking at doing a new version. Herschel is、Hi. helping out with that. And we're talking about totally rebuilding it so that it can be on Android and iOS, iPad, iPhone. Right. <clears throat> Everything. But it's going to require us to start over from scratch. But if we do it the way we're talking about, it won't just have level one, it'll have all Joyo kanji.、Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think that's really good. But I do apologize for it taking so long for us to update.、Um, is there anything else you had going on? Nope. So we put, you've been posting some stuff to Facebook recently. Whip it. People, <laughs> people thought they were greyhounds. You posted and asked people in Japanese. You'll have to write in katakana. And we have talked before about Italian greyhound, what people in Japan call those, which is. Itagure? Itagure. So I thought that was pretty cool. Whip it. Oh, and then greyhounds?、Mm-hmm. Uh, it's short version in Japanese. Gurehan? Gurehan? Gurehan. Because greyhound, greyhound is too long. So greyhan. Itagure. Italian greyhound. And then whip it. Whip it. Is, sometimes it's hoip it. Because W H, like, I don't know, some people pronounce it hoi, hoi pet. <laughs> oh no. Well, up next we have Terrence Walker,、hey. and then we have some、uh, vocabulary. Yeah. We also have a construction show going on behind us. <laughs> If you can hear that. But I、uh, wanted to thank、Chopping、everybody.、Words? I don't know what they're doing, chopping down a tree. I、um, want to thank everybody on the screen for your donations. It's your donations to keep us going. If you're interested in supporting the show and getting show notes and all other kind of stuff that we do, just go to jcast/donate and you can sign up.、Hey. So thanks to everybody that makes JapanCast possible. Take it away, Terrence. Drawing great figures begins with drawing great basic shapes. For example, You can form your entire character out of basic shapes before you get to drawing all the details. Let's say you start with a circle for the head. In that circle for the head, you draw these center lines, 
one down the middle, and then one across the middle. These lines will begin to let you know where to draw details such as the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. You can begin to work on the body in the same fashion. Use a basic cylinder to create the character's neck and use circles for the character's shoulders. And you begin to fill out your character's body with these basic shapes. What this allows you to do is to realize and visualize complex poses very simply. Basically, if you try to draw a very detailed body and all the details are in place first and then you had to do a complex pose as well, that's a lot to think about. However, if you begin to shape everything from these basic circles, lines, and cylinders, you can actually form a complex pose very quickly, very simply, and know your character's proportions. You can know where every part of the character's body should be, and this will let you design that complex pose. You can begin to draw from the basic and then get more advanced and more advanced and more advanced. The same applies regardless of what your character's costume might be. Knowing what's under clothes will help you design better folds and wrinkles in your character's costumes. So begin with the most basic shapes. Start there and add detail. Once you have the basic shapes and you know your character's anatomy, you can begin to add the folds of skin, areas where there might be fat on your character's body or muscle, and begin to actually shape your character to look like the character you want it to be. So remember, always start with the basics. Animation is the same way, and next time I'll talk about using basic and simple shapes to show how you can begin to get your character moving. Alright, so we're up to vocabulary. Hey, you picked this and one. And I picked this one. Um, she was busy today, I don't know if you can see the Zumba. You were doing a uh, Zumba thing. Yeah. Um, so I picked this, and... This is something very common to anime, and okay. that is called what? Irori. 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 Oh, it's hard? It's very hard. Yay, Irori. finally. Irori. I can make fun of you. In my day, when you were invited to a party, everybody was supposed to act like ladies and gentlemen. You see this all the time in anime, and it's... It, in, Traditional anime. Right, um, not school setting or anything. If you watch Mushishi, you'll see Ginko, when he visits houses, they have this. Mm -hmm. And what's Irori? Irori? Mm -hmm. It's like a middle of the living room, mm -hmm. usually. It's like a hall. Mm -hmm. Like a pit. Yeah, pit. A like a yeah, hole. fire it's pit. Cut into your floor. Yeah, basically in your house. And it's square. Square, a yeah. Square pit. Always square. Mm -hmm. And then there's a... Stuff hanging. Though. Hook hanging yeah. from the ceiling. ceiling? Mm -hmm. And that's called... See, <laughs> I didn't know this. G. She's like kagi. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think kagi in this one means hook, uh -huh. I think. And jizai means like a... You can adjust, I think, jizai and that's, from this kanji. That's what they I'm have thinking. usually like a pot or a kettle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's used for like... Cooking. Heating and cooking yeah. the house back then. Tea or, you know, food. Or... Um, and what I thought was really interesting in my research is, is that the modern uh, kotatsu mm -hmm. basically came from the idea of the irori. Mm. That's why you have the square yeah. kotatsu, same kind of thing. But unfortunately, you're gonna, it, you can imagine you have a square fire pit in the middle of your house with tatami mats. Yeah. And everything wooden gets house, black. Everything soot covered, yeah. and so also very big fire hazard. Yeah. It's not like a brick fireplace, right? With a hearth, it's right. a wood floors, tatami mats, and a fire in the middle of your house. Mm. So it's pretty rare these days to find something like that. Mm -hmm. But um, when you're watching anime, especially traditional, you see that. Now you know it's. Irori mm -hmm. and Jizai Kagi. Jizai Kagi. Mm -hmm. I cool. didn't know this. So some cool Jizai Kagi. vocabulary words. Hey. And up next we have the mailbag. But again, we still have our new sponsor, Asian Food Grocer. So thanks to them. Hey. Visit Jcast slash food and check out the their one-stop shop for Asian groceries. It's not just Japanese, but they do have lamune, sake, poke. Um, Japanese seasonings, Asian noodles, Hi. and even 
home and beauty supplies. Nice. So if you need some Japanese beauty supplies. Like shampoo. Things like that. Yep. So check check out uh, Jcast slash food. Mm -hmm. Asian food grocer. And up next, Japancast mailbag. Oh. Alright, so we got a letter from, was it Kay? Okay, I think. If not, I'll put something on screen that says differently. <laughs> All right, and so what's the question? Konnichiwa, Paul san to Hitomi san. Ni shitsumon ga arimasu. Anata ga suki na kanji o motte imasu ka? Is this a strange question? <laughs> so, the question was, um, Do you have came across, yeah, do you have a favorite kanji? Favorite kanji. That was the, the question. Um, I like not any one specific one, but I do like the ones that are hieroglyphic like, like mm. he for fire. Yeah. I think is cool, or kawa, or yama. The ones where you can look at it and go, oh, I see where that came he. from. Yeah, the ones that really look like it. What, what about you? I don't really have any particular, but I like complicated one, mm -hmm. like budo, okay. or like kidding, or bara. Those kanjis? I, beer? Yeah. I don't usually... I wonder why. I don't write... No. <laughs> no, I don't drink beer. Um, they're very <laughs> difficult. I like how you like qualify <laughs> that. I don't drink beer. <laughs> Whiskey? Yeah. No, I down I it don't. by the gallon. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Um, I like very complicated kanji. A lot mm -hmm. of stroke order. Mm. I don't... Don't, probably I don't know how to write them, <laughs> but I can recognize them, and I like don't know how to Like ones they use in the newspaper? <laughs> I guess. Cool. And then the, there's another part to the question. Um, I was wondering if you could tell me the difference between... Oka-san. And... Haha. And... Oni-san. And... Ani. Okay, so... Oni-san mm -hmm. is for someone else's brother, mm -hmm. and Ani is your own. But in anime and dramas, I frequently hear people call their own brother or mothers Oka-san and mm -hmm. Ni-san. Right. Mm. Yeah, you, you'd call your mom Yeah, Oka-san. Oka mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And you also use Oka-san to refer somebody else's mom. Okay. So, for example, Paul no Oka-san. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, so when would you use Haha -ha ha -ha. or Ani? Those are at certain age, like... Probably 20s. Teen, yeah, 18, like 16 and up, maybe. Um, when you're that age, you start using this ani or haha um, for like a formal setting. But, but not to talk not to them. Not to talk to, no. Not to your mom or your you're brother. You're referring your own mom or your brother to somebody else. But somebody that is more like an official, more like a business setting right or right not not just hanging out with friends right if you're hanging out with your friends you say uchi no san my mom or uchi no ni chan like my older brother right but if you are like talking to your boss you know uh, the other day my mother said then you say uchi no haha ga right uh, so yeah you're in a corporate environment and right. your dad is the founder of the company and you're explaining that mm -hmm. to somebody Chichi ga Right. right. You're not going to say otosan. Otosan, no. That's kind of... Ch no. So no, it's, it's not good. a more formal way to use it in right. business or mm -hmm. whatever setting. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. I didn't know that at all. I, I was, I've was. i heard it in anime again before, mm -hmm. but it's usually like, you know, a prince or a princess is referring uh, about their... So it's also, it's weird if... Like five year old, three year old say uchi no haha ga, then it's very weird. Very weird. Yeah, that age you can say uchi no ka san ga, my or mom. Mama. Any. Yeah, mama, yeah, mama. Five yeah. year if old, it's three, yeah. five, yes, that would yeah. be okay. Okay. Hi. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. All right, before we go, we want to quickly highlight a Japan cast friend. Hi. Uh, Ayasiel, she's 24 years old, lives in Osaka, and she writes. Hello, hajime maste. Okay, and I could understand that. So if that's your level of Japanese, you're 
you know, that's fairly beginner mm -hmm. well, level. What does she say? Well, what? She's studying English, mm -hmm. but she can't, she's not very, doing very well yet, but she wants to study with somebody, so please mail her Hi, easy. or send her a smile. Mm -hmm. Good. So I can't read the kanji, but when I hear it spoken, I can, I can understand <gasps> Good it. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. It's only taken me 10 years to get to this point. <laughs> So if you'd like to talk to uh, Yasiel or find someone else, head to friends.japancast.net hey. and sign up for your free account. Hi. A little bit of a short episode, but we've got some construction going on. And <laughs> it's not construction. We have dogs looking out the window at our house from the couch. And uh, it's just ah! a fun time is being had by all here. So, okay, okay we'll go take care of the dogs. We'll see you guys uh, next time. Yeah, my dad, I should.